thought our football team went out there and executed the way they needed to execute. I thought for the second week in a row there, we went out and got off to a fast start. The defense got the turnover, went in and scored. That was critical. And I uh, thought for the most part we played pretty clean. Didn't have any turnovers, which was good. And uh, took care of the football. So we got a quick short week, got a quick turnaround. And, uh, Got to put that one behind us right now and start to work on the pulse here in a bit. How do you bottle this and take it on the road, Doc? <laughs> I knew I'd I sure like to do it. But, you know, this, this team's played well. They played extremely hard all year, and uh, that wouldn't be any different on Thursday night. So we just got to make sure we do a great job preparing starting tonight and tomorrow and, uh, and just get ready to go. Given, well, given the fact that it, was, that it is a short week coming up, to get some of those guys out in the third quarter, start rotating guys early, and take care of you know take care of the score kind of early. How huge is that going into Tulsa? Well, we tried. I mean, that was part of the plan was in that fourth quarter and even late in the third quarter to get some of them out because it is a quick turnaround and uh, you know that was a good deal. It was a good situation. We were able to do it with some of those kids and uh, hopefully that helped us. Oh, well, last week, coach, you got in right before the half. It was a big score, and then you hold them scoring in the second. Yeah, that was critical. And you know that 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 football team, to be honest with you, they they moved the football against a lot of people. They had almost 300 yards rushing last week against uh, Middle, and they were moving the ball a little bit. But you're right, you know, they, were, they that could have made it a two-score game or whatever there at the half. And instead of that, you know, they ended up getting a turnover right there. We took it right back down, scored to make I think a 35 to 14, and momentum shifted a little bit. And then to come back a second half again, like it did a week ago. Uh, get the ball and take it right down and score. I thought that was critical, and our guys did a great job executing that. What was the key for you guys today in the run game? I got offensive line deserves a lot of credit. You know, and uh, you know, we, again, Cato did a great job of managing the run pass uh, options, and uh, they really came down and played as similar to what they did a year ago with a lot of three down stuff, and uh, hadn't done that for the last three or four games. But of course, we were prepared for that and were able to handle it. And, that offensive line did a good job blocking those three backs with the ball in the hands pretty good. And how, how happy are you with those three? I mean, three backs, this is the first time in the school history that three at the same game, 100 yards up or more. Yeah, that was, that was great. I mean, those three backs were all solid players. They work hard. They had a great week of prep. Ian Butler's now coming and preparing like he should, and uh, it showed out there today. Talk about the offensive line. The guy, Schooler got out there quite a few times to pick up a block. How did you see him today? Yeah, that, you know, that, that entire offensive line, Alex Mirabal, done a tremendous job with him. And you know, not only Schooler, but uh, you know, Clint Van Horn was the captain for us this week, and he's become a tremendous player. He really has, he's really physical, and uh, you know, those, those guys have done a tremendous job. Not only in the run, but they, you know, I, don't, I don't think Cato was socked at all today. I don't think, but uh, uh, he did a nice job. They did a nice job, not only you know, run blocking, but from, uh, protecting too. Did you stress the physicality? There are a lot of big hits out there from you guys. Yeah, I thought it was. We, we knew going in that it was going to be a physical game. And we talked to our kids about nobody's going to walk through those gates out there and be more physical than we were. I mean, that's part of the thing that we expect to happen. And I thought for the most part it was a physical game, but I thought we matched you know, the physicality pretty well. Tight end production. I know that uh, you know a lot of people look to Gator, but to have Fro make a touchdown catch when Gator comes off the field and just misses an opportunity there, and then Devin Johnson comes in there uh, third quarter and has a big catch too. Be, using the tight ends to be able to stretch the field, how how much does that open up the run a little bit? Well, that helped us today because you know, when you bracket Tommy, you know at times you know, you know Devin and Gator and, uh, and even Fro today got one on one out there because of the brackets they have with Tommy. So. It's great to see Fro. You know, Fro's not normally a deep threat for us, but he uh, he ended up making that play today. And then Devin, I think Devin and Johnson's getting better every week. And they start to play with more confidence and have total understanding of what we're doing offensively. And those three guys have become good players and they are a big part of our offense. How good is it to see Devin Johnson get 